So this one, fun fact, this is one of only two Nancy Drew games that include Moida. Moida. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Let me explain the lore to you. A student named Jake Rogers was killed at the local high school last week. An undercover detective by the name of Beach asked Aunt Eloise if I could go undercover to investigate the Moida. I'm posing as a new student to see what the other kids may know about Jake and his untimely end. No, murder on this stream is pronounced Moida. <laughs> Moida. That's the only way to pronounce it. All right, well, I said I'm going to finish this tonight, so we better get into it. Is that a Baltimore thing? No, it's just a me thing. <laughs> it's just a I'm trying to pretend I'm in a film noir movie thing. Dear Dad, who would have dreamed taking a vacation to visit Aunt Eloise in Florida would result in another case? Seems I would. A student named Jake Florida. Rogers was murdered at the high school last week. Moited. An undercover police detective wants me to pose as <laughs> oh, God. to search for any leads. Oh, he's scary. So, it's undercover I go. I'm calling this case Secrets Can Kill. Love, Nancy. I love Nancy naming her own cases before she's even solved them. I love her attitude. Was he murdered because he was ugly? We'll find out in Secrets Can Kill. Nancy, I had to close the school library early today, but if you need to do any research for your case, the key to the library is in the safe. Remember, not to enter in the wrong combination. Be careful, Aunt Eloise. The old music does slap, though, I must say. What we got here? Oh, God. Letters. Paseo del Mar University and the Sigma Phi Kappa Delta Sorority cordially invite you to attend the 25th annual Sigma Phi Kappa Delta Sorority Reunion. So is that the password? Can I draw it like that, or...? I did have to learn Greek letters for, um my sorority initiation, but I have long since forgot them. I pretty much remember, like, my own sorority letters and, like, a couple of the sororities and fraternities that were on campus. Yeah, this is the, <laughs> the Sigma Males invitation letter. Oh, and a calculator, which we cannot click on. Okay. Uh-huh. Ooh, ooh, we've got a 90s McMansion here. Very tastefully decorated. Reminders, talk to Jake about library card books. Talk to Jake about library books out of order. I don't know why I said card. Call Nancy to get flight number. Call Jackie about Spanish schools. Hi, Ragnarok. How are you? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, maximalism. Look at this. If we were in this house today, it would be gray. It would be straight gray. The haunted ghost bridge. Strange things have happened on this bridge. Some people have reported hearing screams and cries from below the span. Others have reported ghostly figures looming at the end, and even others have felt a cold tingling sensation throughout their body when crossing. No one is certain about the origins of these sightings, but the first documented case of spectral phenomenon occurred around the turn of the last century when a troop of Girl Scouts camped out there. All returned with their hair turned white. Okay, that is... yeah, that sounds pretty serious. None of the frightened campers spoke a word until a year later! A year! Yeah, a year! At first, the girls just babbled incoherently, or screamed, or laughed. A psychiatrist specializing in traumatic experiences was asked to examine the girls, but the girls would only say one phrase. Follow the X to the spot below. Jesus Christ! Oh, I'm glad the job interview went well. Jesus Christ, though. <laughs> I don't... From what I remember, I don't even know if that's relevant to the game. I think that was just some traumatic lore. Some books we can't click on. Beautiful. Nancy has no reflection here. Nice. Nancy is a ghost. Can't go through there. I think the only thing left is the security thing. So it is the the K S, nailed it. Boom. Got a key. 
Oh god. Oh god, it's a slide puzzle. I mean, dare I? Dare I try and do it on my own? I hate slide puzzles, y'all. So bad at them. My brain doesn't compute. Well, actually, look at that. Look at that, though. I feel like you gotta do the top row, right? Yeah, I feel like you gotta do- you gotta get the top row in place somehow. Oh, but how do you? That's the thing. But how? Hmm. Okay, take that out. Ugh. Man. Okay, there we go. Top row. Top row. I did the Freddy Fish slide puzzle all the time as a kid, so I assume that I'm still pro level. I think I did do the Freddy Fish slide puzzle fairly quickly. From what I remember, I remember there were different slide puzzles in Freddy Fish, and one of them was impossible and one of them was very easy, and I think I did the easy one, if I do recall. I feel like... But it's three... It's a three by three, so I feel like this is doable. I feel like we're already pretty close. I just have to have some confidence in myself. That wasn't bad! That wasn't bad! School computer. All right, Eloise drew. I didn't even have to game boomers that. Look at that. Oh, wise elder. And this is why we have to have Google Chrome auto-generate all of our passwords nowadays, because people were using uh, dumb passwords like that back in the 90s, I guess. All right, I guess that's all we can click on here. Yeah, that's it. We have a task list. Still have to do that. Still have to do that. Go to the high school and talk. That's done. Okay. We gotta go talk to some high schoolers. Oh. Nancy Drew, Detective Beach here. How are you? Good, and yourself? Frustrated, Nancy. I need some leads, and you're my man, huh? Well, woman, teen, Girl student, boss. whatever. I'll be at Maxine's diner. Come see me when you found out anything. All contact should be through me. Can do. So, what's our cover? Our what? Um, our cover. Who should I say you are if anyone sees us and asks? Oh, right. Uh, I'll be your uncle. Ragnarok, you have a good point, but it's literally an anagram of their own if you name. Anything else, come see me at Maxine's. I'm wearing glasses and a green striped shirt. Eloise Drew, Owise Elder. That's an anagram, right? I'm pretty sure it is. So, I don't know how secure that is. Ruby. All right, here's this pervert. There's a lot of perverts in this game, from what I recall. <laughs> a lot of perverts out here. Welcome to Maxine's. I'm Daryl Gray. I don't think I've seen you here before. My name's Nancy Drew. I just moved down here. Then you'll be attending Paseo Del Mar High. I'm your student. You are president. not in high school. Get out of here. Just let me know. Thanks. I might just take you up on a that blonde. Offer. <laughs> My worst so... fear. What can I do for you? Tell me about the high school. Tell me about Paseo Del Mar High. It's a great school. Good teachers, nice students, lots of after-school activities. It's just See the principal, do you happened. think? What happened? One of the students was murdered in the school last week. Did they die? Who was murdered? A senior named Jake Rogers. He worked here, but I didn't really know him. He kept mainly to himself. Who did it? This would be a really short playthrough. Who did it? No one knows, and the police are keeping pretty clammed up about it. But my resources say they're calling in some special detective. Maybe even the FBI. Oh, I remember this clip from my own Nancy Drew video. It's good. Wow. You must have some special contacts. <laughs> Just special enough to see beautiful women like yourself. <laughs> 
What do you mean? Get it? Contacts. contacts. I'm wearing, wearing contacts, contacts so let me see, see pretty, pretty women. women. I should get back to work. <laughs> nice meeting you, Nancy. I like how we also had the option to completely ignore that flirting and just be like, did Jake have any enemies? See you later. But no. See ya. All right. <laughs> yeah. Blonde man, we already knew. Red flag. Ooh. Spot and vanilla beverage, 195. Yeah, this is the Italian club music from Phantom of Venice. I think the diner plays just um, all the music from the previous games. All right, I guess I should be writing down these little scribbles on here. XE equals R3. I'm assuming these highlighted letters are also a clue of some kind. I don't really recall how. Should we go fishing through the kitchen? Can we do that? Oh yeah, sure. They just let anybody back here, huh? Oh, soup ladle? Sure. Dear Daryl, I need to break off our date to the Sadie Hawkins dance. I'm very sorry, but something suddenly came up. Connie. Drama. Do 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 do. The music's so quiet though. Let me see if I can. Ooh, we got some PNGs of food over here. A knife! We can't click on anything. Yeah, Connie, I think, dodged a bullet there. I really do. Uh, it's just a shift. Oh, there's some sort of puzzle down here. I'll just take a picture of that. That's too long to write down. Bye, Ghastly. Have fun educating yourself or whatever. What do we got over here? To Maxine, Daryl, Carl, Yuli, and Mel from Jake Rogers. Maxine wanted me to write a memo describing the finer points of closing the diner. Some think there are some secrets to the process, but it couldn't be easier. After totaling out the cash register, the cashier brings the cook, the receipts, store in the potato bin. The cook also needs to check the life expiration dates. Ba -ba 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 -ba. And then another code of some kind. Just gonna pick a quick pick. We got the receipts. Potato receipts, the most important kind of receipts. All right. How do we get out of here? All right, should we go talk to the pervert detective? Hello. Nancy, why oh, I haven't seen you since uh He's a bad a pervert too. <laughs> How's your aunt? Aunt Eloise. Oh, she's fine. And dad says hello. You're staying with your aunt, right? Yes. So uh what do you got for me? Well, I was hoping you could debrief me on the This man isn't allowed within <laughs> Oh sure, sure, sure. A hundred feet of that high school uh, is he? Bit. Well, my undercover assignments are usually not so... Uh, suburban. I understand. The victim was a senior named Jake Rogers. As usual, none of the family teachers or students... I know those glasses are back in style, there. though, aren't they? Nothing came up from searching his home, computer, cell phone, or locker. His bank records tell a different story. He had a fairly large... Okay, Rich. ...and a lot of cash deposits. We suspect he was involved in something shady. Drugs, gambling... I guess we don't know the cause of death. That's where you fit in. Talk to the students and see what you can find out. We think he might have kept information about his activities in a notebook or journal. So keep a lookout for sure now. Like okay. Anything else? Bye bye. Bye bye. See you later. Yeah, we'll have to do some investigating, I suppose. What can I do for you? Do you know why Connie broke your date to the But let's Hawkins find out the high the high school gossip no, right it now. It was really weird. But what was even weirder is that she took Jake instead of me. Instead of you, so weird. Bye. Take care. Do, 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 do. All right, now that we have the tea, let's go to the high school. Ugh, love the melodramatic music. 
All right, what what do we got? Go manatees. So there's also money in this game, from what I recall. So we got to be on the lookout for shiny stuff. All right, some sort of thing we'll need the code for. Can we go that way? No, there's so many little things on the floor that you would think we would be able to pick up, but no. Can we look at this? Oh, yes, we can. You zoom in on any of these things? I guess not. Oh, there we go. Poetic drama, student files. HF equals L1. From what I recall, there are a lot of little codes and stuff on these uh, bulletin boards we're going to have to write down. I don't remember what they go to, but I guess we'll find out. Let's see. What else we got? What else we got? L A equals U2. And... Oh yeah, I wrote that down, meme. I got that, don't worry. And... Hello. Hi, I'm Connie. You're, not You're in high school? You? Usually, Paseo del Mar High is really quiet and boring. Lately, it's been totally out of control. How funny would it be if actually everyone, including Nancy, is an undercover cop and we're all just pretending to be high schoolers right now? <laughs> Because I think that's what, what might be happening. I'm not really buying that any of these are in high school. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been to high school, but I don't I don't think they look like this. Out of control? One of the students was killed last week. What happened? What happened? I think he was pushed down a flight of stairs or something. Yeah, she was supposed to go to with Daryl to the dance. This queen? What makes you think he was pushed and didn't just fall? I heard his face was all messed up, like he was in a fight. He was always getting into fights. What kind of guy was Jake? Jake Rogers was a total creep. Nobody liked him. I gotta go now. Later. <laughs> that murder victim was a total fucking loser. <laughs> oh, I think these are um, Easter eggs to their first her interactive's first game, Mackenzie and Co. I'm pretty sure. I might be wrong. But we got money. I forgot how much people um, shit talk the murder victim in this game. It's pretty funny. Yeah, I think people will talk about me like this too. Ooh, okay, we've got the students of the month. <laughs> so, so what I love about this is they put um, the Nancy Drew King Argolfumpf here. He's a big Nancy Drew Let's Player, if you're not familiar. He's the only reason I finished White Wolf of Icicle Creek the first time I played it through. And I think he was fully like, he had to be at least my age when they, when he sent this picture in. He's at least 25 here. <laughs> He's not in high school. Yeah, some of these could, some of these look like high schoolers. There's definitely some range, but Argofumpf? No. Blue Star, that's very accurate. It is very chicken girl's age range. Everyone here could be 12, they could be 30. We don't know. Yeah, he's really the only one that stands out, but it's a nice headshot, so... And it's Argofump. You can't not put him in. Oh, I missed money. He's still a big deal. They, um... They flew, they flew him out so that he could beta test the new Nancy Drew game that they're working on right now. And I think he beta tested Midnight in Salem. Alright, Snitch. I say he's a big deal, but I'm also pretty sure they copyright struck him one time because he made a video about how to do a cheat in one of the games. And her interactive got mad at him for telling people about like a, a cheat or bug in their own game. But, you know, sucks to suck. What camera do I use? I use the Sony ZV-E10.
It is very Nintendo of them. I'm waiting for them to reach out. I'm here. I'm available. I've said before, I want a voice line in the new game. I don't think that's happening. <laughs> I don't think they're interested. But I'll pay for my own flight. I don't care. I'll do anything. I don't think they know I exist, though. Can you zoom in on anything here? Just say no. C... R1. Oh, this also looks like some sort of code, right? Oh, I see what this is. Will... Will seal my murderer's fate the hidden videotape. So I see Jake got murdered and then his ghost wrote fun little clues that he could just put on the bulletin board. Or I guess he pre-knew he was going to be murdered and left fun little Easter eggs for everyone. Yeah, I really like it, Sarah. I also have the Sony 1.4 lens, but the Sigma 1.4 lens is also, I hear, pretty good. And it's, um, it's a little cheaper than the one I have. But I really like it. And it's pretty versatile. Like, it's small enough that you can use it for vlogging and stuff. But it works well for just, like, sit-down videos, too. Yeah, it's like those people who listen to, um, too many true crime podcasts and constantly think that they're gonna be murdered. Like, have y'all seen the people on TikTok who have, like, a If I Go Missing binder? That's supposed to be like a paper trail of all the... <laughs> supposed to be a paper trail of, I guess, all the people who would uh, potentially murder them. I don't even know what's in there if I go missing binder, to be honest, but... They're two, like, my favorite murder brain pills. Hi, my name is They think, <laughs> what's your they think name? every man who's in the same target Actually, aisle as them is like a human trafficker. <laughs> but I want to fit in here in America, so I chose Hal as my nickname. I'm a Japanese exchange student. Why do you think it's easier to have an American name? I want to be part of the culture and succeed in this country. Oh, the stereotypes. Oh, Nancy. I'm pretty sure this dialogue is the same as it was from the 90s, so... Why do you admire Americans? Why do you oh, admire God. Americans? <laughs> They're such open people. I admire the freedom here. If you work hard enough, you can achieve anything. Ooh. Ooh, tomato, tomato. <laughs> Why do you work so hard? Why do you work so hard? I feel uncomfortable speaking about this. <laughs> That's valid. Please, excuse me. That's valid. <laughs> He's like, um, you're weird. Don't talk to me. <laughs> he didn't even say hi. Do you know Connie Watson? Yes, we've been in a few classes together. I think she was dating Jake <gasps> Rogers. That snake? What can you tell me about Daryl Gray? He's very popular and a good politician, too. Just like his father. See ya? Like his father? I hear he was a great politician, but not a very good businessman. I think his company went bankrupt a few years ago. T. See ya. See you later, Nancy. I think that conversation went really well. We asked some very culturally sensitive questions. And I think he likes us a lot. All right, there's one more character we have to meet who's lurking around these halls somewhere. Um, just spinning. Just spinning. I guess he's this way. <laughs> this Photoshop is really good. Uh, find... Find them or... Oh. Time. The time. Find them or... Hmm. Hmm. Well, first of all, I'm going to write down the thing. I thought it was just one letter over, but it's hurting my brain a little bit. I'm pretty sure this says time the do the time i'll do the time who who will do the time find the morning 
edition. Oh, yes. And discover an another crime. The answer is in black and white. To who will do the time? Well, that's a very... Even when you decode it, it's a very obscure message, isn't it? Jesus, Jake. Come on. You want me to find out who murdered you or not? KRL2? A lot of these. KRL2? S N E S. I don't recognize this. I'll take a picture of this though. Why not? Say something about the diner, maybe? Don't know. Don't know. The thing is, I feel like you don't actually have to debunk a lot of these uh, little codes on the bulletin board to finish the game. Oh, these are upside down, I see. Well, this is easy. So we have phones, cameras now. Focus. All right. Enhance. Edit. Oh, they're mirrored. Nowhere to turn to, nowhere to hide. Let the books in the library be your answer guide. K R1 Then Oh, these ones are like flipped and mirrored too. They're harder to read. Something must hide. A symbol of kanji worn with great pride. Re reflects big secrets that someone must hide. Jake sure was having fun when he, before he got murdered. He was having a good time, was he not? To keep up his... Um, oh. He did what it took to make the grade, even if it meant cheating to keep up his something. He was having fun. You know, he died doing what he loved, making fun little puzzles for everyone else, huh? Oh, hello. Yeah, you're not in high school either. Do you realize what destiny has brought you today? Yours truly, Hector He's literally Sanchez. wearing a wire. You can just call me the Hulk. <laughs> He's fully an undercover cop. I can see his wire right there. What is that? <laughs> you have to tell me legally. The Hulk? You are new around here. I play for the Manatees, one of the best teams in the state. I leave the others in the dirt, man. Soon it's college ball, and then the pros. Showtime. Who are the manatees? Who are the manatees? The We're bad at being undercover. Manatee. Don't tell me you're afraid of a little sea cow. Of course not. I'm not afraid of a fucking sea cow. Of course not. I know what to do if I come across <laughs> a manatee. Yeah, just sneeze and it'll swim away. Seriously, the manatees are a great team at a great school. Everyone is cool, except for a few punks like Jesus. Jake Rogers. Jake Rogers? He died yesterday. I know Jake. But I didn't hang out with him. Sorry, can't talk now. I gotta go to practice. Later. Well, that's the thing. You're standing right here, though. How's it going? Do you know Hal Tanaka? <laughs> gotta that go to practice. He's always studying. He's a huge fan of mine. Real smart guy. But I never understood why a brain like Tanaka would hang out with slime like Jake. <laughs> Hal was a friend of Jake's? Let's just say I saw them talking together a lot. Jake's locker was right next to Hal's. 
but they weren't really friends. Is that what you're saying? Jake didn't really have friends, and Hal, he may seem pretty chill, but I've seen him crack a couple of times. He's seriously uptight. Crack a couple of times? He he's did crack a couple of times? One. He lets the pressure build and build until he's wound so tight the slightest thing sets him off. Like last week, I strike him out during gym, and he goes ballistic and charges the mound. He's got some serious issues. Now that I think of it, last time I saw them together, Hal seemed pretty upset. And then he pushed him down the stairs. It was crazy. What can you tell me about Daryl Gray? Jake is the dead he one. They're like shit talking guy. the dead guy. His family All used of to them. the annual football awards dinner until last year. You know, he's the one who found Jake's body. Jesus. What can you tell me about Connie Watson? She hangs out at the gym a lot. I heard she's been having a real tough time. Why do you think she hangs out? She's at the getting gym jacked. So much? I don't know. She's a pretty good athlete, but never joined any of Paseo Del Mar's teams. Tough time? I heard she's been having some money problems. Oh, poor. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye, babe. All right. Well, we may not know what we're doing, but we are rich. Um. For that looks like also some sort of secret. If anything happens to me, look in my look in my chemistry book, page three. <laughs> Wait, I lost the plot. If anything, look in my chemistry book, page three. Freezer of five. Wait, what number is this? I'm lo I'm my mind is breaking. Page three zero five. Good lord, <laughs> I got there. Thank you, meme. <laughs> three zero five chemistry book. Do you think he went to CVS and got this like custom printed? It's a lot of work. I guess we should go try and find his chemistry book, huh? Five, 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 judo. Lift some weights. Let's see, what is the... Still have to do that. Haven't done that. Haven't done that. Can't check that off yet. That's done. Still have to do that. Alright, we haven't been to the library yet. Alright, let's see. I guess we can't go there. Everything kind of looks the same. Dare I say. Oh, here's all the fan art. Look how cute. We haven't played most of these. We already looked at this, right? Uh, mm, I guess not. I don't have this on my thing. I'll write that down. In the school, we'll play the alarm. Orange. Cool. Grape. Grape. That's the soda machine alarm, right? I recall. Well, let's go set off some alarms. Uh, what was it? Or is it the other way? Grape, grape, cool, orange. Fuck. Grape, grape, orange, cool. Oh, did I fuck it up? Great, you broke it. Oh my god, don't yell at me. Grape, grape, orange, cool. All right, we're causing some havoc. Get out of here. Oh, wrong way. Um, where to go? God, I'm lost. I'm lost in the high school. Um, no. 
There you are. There you are. Hi, Hi Nancy. Need something? Someone set off the alarm on the soda machine again. <sighs> Who could have right done back. this? Who could have done this? All right. I believe I have the key. The teacher's lounge. Is that not? What is this the key to? Is this the key to the library? Oh, poop. Set off the alarm for nothing. Well, in the original game, I'm pretty sure you just, like, take a credit card and physically break into the teacher's lounge. But the cowards changed it for the remaster. It's either the library or the teacher's lounge you have to physically break into in the original. And parents got mad. Do I already have that one? I don't think so. See you soon, acid kumquat. Oh god, I just hear things moving around. Well, let's go see the library then, I guess. See if that's where the key leads to. Alright, we're in. Hmm, where do you get the teacher's lounge key then? I don't remember. I don't recall. I'm overwhelmed by books. Look at all- oh, oh. Oh. Oh my gosh, it's the book from Blackmore Manor that we have not played. Uh, not a hint just yet, Hotchkiss. Perhaps in a little bit. I'm still getting my bearings, I think. But thank you. What is a relic? Pretty sure most of these books are just like books from previous games, right? Although I don't recognize this one. <laughs> I will not be reading every single book out loud. I'm beating this game tonight, y'all. I'm on a deadline. <laughs> We're speedrunners right now. We don't have time for this. We simply don't have time. Mm hmm. Mm. Broken. Typical. Typical. Oh, the music just changed. Oh my gosh, is that Sunny June fan fan art right there? Oh my gosh, it's our girl from Waverly Academy. Look at that. Ooh, this is some fun fan art. Teens. Okay. Um. Yeah, I remember being able to look at these books. I'm pretty sure these books are just Easter eggs, though. Yeah, Lizzie Applegate from another game we haven't played on stream yet. So don't know her. Never seen her before. Braille. Okay, we do need to unlock a Braille door. Oh, we just looked at that. Is this the one we haven't looked at yet? Houdini, also from a game we haven't played yet. This was the first game, but since they remastered it, they added a bunch of Easter eggs from previous games. <laughs> like the song they're playing in the background right now, it's really quiet, but this is the rap they cut from the original version of this game. <laughs> Hi, Cured. There are 33, and they are working on game 34 right now. Because they were making two a year for like 20 years. White Woof! It's so many. 
so many. Haven't done that. Look, Can't check that off yet. in the library for clues. Did that. Computer. Still have to do that. Haven't done that. Okay, so Still I guess. Have to do that. Can't check that off yet. Let's go back to Eloise's house then, because I guess I missed a key there. In the my hint on the teacher's lounge was going to be to break the window from the outside. That's what I was saying, Hotchkiss. They changed it. They changed it because parents got mad. <laughs> Because they thought Nancy was a bad role model. And also, um, at the end of the original version of this game, Nancy holds a gun. Nancy pulls a gun on the bad guy. <laughs> I won't spoil who the bad guy is, but... <laughs> in the original... Nancy wasn't holding back. Oh, do I have to enter this again? Why didn't it open? Did I fuck it up? Why isn't it opening now? Oh. Um, hmm, well, I'm guess- I'm gonna assume it isn't there then, because we did already look at that. Maybe it's like in a book somewhere that we didn't look at. Hmm. This is more Easter egg stuff, I think. Yeah, these are all characters from other games. Anya! I rarely die now, complained Anya, only once in a blue moon. Stifling a yawn, Renata put down her glam glam ma magazine. When are we going to return to the big island? Mike stood up and glared at Renata. Pish pish, you know I'll never go back there. <laughs> Oh, don't be such a baby, scolded Renata. Mike is afraid to go back because he got his... He got bit by a spider there, she explained to the other guests. He went to the ER and the bill was huge because his copay is so much. We are solving a mystery today, Hayden. We're solving a murder. Serious. Very serious situation here. Oh, here we go. I found... I found the key. No need to stress. We don't have to break any windows this time. Oh my gosh, Nancy drew books. Money. Yoga mats. I love this box that just says Nancy drew books and a yoga mat. Now that's... That makes sense. That makes perfect sense. Okay. So now we should... Now we should set off the soda alarm. And we can go into the teacher's lounge. All right. Where is it? This. So it is grape, grape, cool, orange. Fuck. <laughs> grape, grape. Did I do it? Grape, grape, orange, cool. Get Connie over here to fix it. I'm gonna write it down the right way, because I keep messing it up. I forgot it again. <laughs> Alright, did I do that? Officer, you gotta come right away. Officer Connie, please. Hey, Nancy. Need something? Um... Someone set off the alarm on the soda machine again. Ugh. Watch the fort while I'm gone. I totally will, babe. Don't even worry about it. Alright, let's creep- let's sniff her stuff. Oh, it's kind of hard to read this. It's very pixelated. You might be wondering why I'm even sending this, and I wish I had a better explanation. So many times in the hallways we catch each other's eyes and it seems like we both want to say something, but we just keep walking. You with your friends and me alone. There's so much I want to say to you every time I drive to or from school. It's like you're in the car with me and we have these amazing conversations and I'm thinking, will this ever become true? 
This is so high school. Can you ever forgive me for what I did? Can I? I want to explain, but a part of me knows it's not safe and stupid to do. Sometimes I just can't keep it bottled inside me and I want to scream it from the rooftops. Is this crazy? Am I? This is a straight person writing this? Whatever you say. Whatever you say. All right. I accidentally hit the, like, mouse sensitivity thing, so now my mouse is like, oh, oh. It's too much. It's doing too much. All right. Uh... Administration... Okay. Is this spelling something? Hmm. Oh think so? Um, well, we have the password. Eloise Drew O Wise Elder. Super secure. Okay. Passwords. Just take a picture of this. I know, I wanted to be better about journaling in school because I was like, I want this to remember by, but I didn't save like any of them and thank God, because I don't want to remember actually. I'm actually perfectly fine. Okay, so then we need to translate it into um, Braille, right? Which, um, which password is that though? No, oh, that's okay. We'll figure that out later. To do list. What was that? <laughs> uh, what was that? Update meeting information. Take down student art exhibit. Have library computers networked. Okay. Doesn't seem too exciting. No. Her emails! Eloise, we need to find a replacement for Jake Rogers for bulletin board duty. Please send me a list of candidates you recommend. More printing. Well, I think on Patreon this month, um, sorry, this is not to plug my Patreon. It, this just reminded me. Um, we're going to be looking at my old Tumblr. And y'all, the lies I wrote to myself on my own Tumblr. <laughs> I won't spoil it, but I think I remember I had a bucket list on my Tumblr account. And I think I straight up lied about what I did on my bucket list to sound cooler on my Tumblr. And that's all the embarrassment I need, you know? I don't need a journal to reflect on. Paseo Del Mar High School. AMT Antanta. Toolbox from Dylan. Left in boiler room. Observed young man. He identified himself as an exchange student, so Hal Tanaka was there that night. Approximately 8.30, I overheard two individuals arguing. Two males outside. First male was five foot five. Okay, short king. Red hair, 15 to 18 years old. Okay, so it was Connie. It was Connie. <laughs> and not a man. He wore green, windbreaker. Second male was 15 to 18 and wore a football jersey with the names eight or zero. Okay, so that was the Hulk. Caught several students soaping teacher's lounge window. Okay, so everybody was there at the night of the murder, which actually is not helpful. That actually doesn't give us any information. It just said everybody was there. Um, can you click on any of these? Oh, here we go. Reminder, submit Hal Tanaka's senior paper to the POM Scholarship Foundation. Etiquette is an art of communicating. Oh my gosh. For... AP English Lang, I'm pretty sure our essay, I don't know why this sticks in my brain, but we had to argue about why um, small talk and like etiquette is important to society. Or you could also take the stance that like etiquette and small talk is useless and you just got to get to the real stuff. So this, this essay is bringing back some memories for me. Oh God, I had to bullshit about that for an hour and a half. All right. 
Yeah, Blue Star, if you have any advice on how to be a mermaid, please let us all know. I would much prefer that to my current existence. I guess CLD2, I'll write that down. I know, Blue Star, I know. Real. But I'm pretty sure I crushed it. I'm pretty sure I got a five on that, so, you know. Uh, I don't remember if I was pro or against small talk, though, now that I remember it. I really don't. It was kind of a blur. Because the thing is, you don't even have time to think about what your actual stance is. It's just like you pick one or the other and then you go. Uh, Gray Enterprises reported a $500 million loss. Oh, so he's a flop. Dale Gray's dad is a flop. Money. We sure are rich. I love how intense the music's getting. Nothing's really happened. Okay. Did that. That's done. Can't check that off yet. Jake's locker. That's done. Haven't done that. Did that. Still have to do that. Um, I don't remember how we figure out which locker. Oh, wait. I remember which one is Jake's because it's the one that has all the tape across it, but I don't remember the Hello? password to it. You better stop your nosy nosing or it'll get bent way out of Hello? <laughs> Hello? Who's this? Okay, well, I'm just going to call you back. Dylan heating, ventilation, air conditioning, and cooling. How he didn't even you? disguise his voice. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. You called me and threatened me? No, I didn't. I have no idea what you're talking about. Yes, you did. I saw your caller ID number. Nancy's no, a detective. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Um, I'm sorry, miss, if you're having trouble with your air conditioning. We'll send a technician to find a permanent solution. Local Florida man just calling teenagers. I'm talking about you threatening me. I didn't threaten you. Look, I'm not going to play this game with you. Well, we do have fun here. Okay. Oh, she's not back. Oh, she's not back yet. Let's go talk to some people then. <laughs> we have great conversations here, don't we, Hal? Had you heard of Hulk Sanchez? Heard of him? Hulk holds the conference record for quarterback sacks. He's been the state's Ooh, number one football. player since he was a freshman. I know what He's that means. He's also a candidate for a big university, even with his injury. Injury? Hulk got hurt a few weeks ago. Ever since that game, he hasn't played the same. I worry that his he chances could have gone of pro. playing for a God top damn it. school are not as good as before his injury. I think this game is meant to be, even though it's a reboot of a 90s game, I think it is meant to be modern times. See you later. Farewell, Nancy. But it's honestly unclear. Because uh, they didn't change the character models or, like, the set that much to make it seem like it's not the 90s. So, it's anyone's guess, really. I feel like that's the case with all of them. Alright. Which maintenance room? Alright, I'm just going to look up Braille because we have the power of phones. We have the, the power of technology. What's the maintenance room? Maintenance room is Note. Okay. Braille, alphabet. Yeah, I mean, Nancy Drew went to the 1930s in one of these games, so linear time doesn't really exist. Uh, note, looks like N, uh, O, T, and but oh there we go i was not confident in that but we did it i don't think we can do anything here though oh hello i don't think there's anything to do just yet here Um, 
1967. I'll write that down for later. Um, money. Thank you. Gloves. Okay, well, we had fun. Look around the library, Kanji. See what the That's students done. have to say. Still talk to, to Hulk that. about his injury. Okay, well, let's go talk to the Hulk. Let's go chat him up. How's it going? I'm really sorry you got injured. Does that affect your chances of playing college ball? I had a little sprain, no big deal. Within a week, I was better than before and impressing the football scouts. I'm as strong as ever. Okay, whatever you say, Bye. sis. Bye. Me when I lie. POV, me lying. Um, I think we have some stuff to talk to Connie about, so let's talk to her and then we'll go talk to Daryl. Um, Hal, I think, hates us, so that might be a lost cause. Uh, where is she hiding? Can't hide from me forever. I don't really get the layout of that. Oh, she's gone, gone. <laughs> His character... <laughs> His character model is giving straight, but the animation is giving kind of a gay vibe. That's every character in a Nancy Drew game, I think. I just think that's how they are. You don't know how which direction any of them go, to be honest. You never know. Oops. Let's go talk to Daryl about how what he's poor. You? Is your dad the owner of Gray Enterprises? Yep, that's him. I have an internship in the computer department at the plant. It's mega boring. But it'll look good on my college application. Did I heard they were a flop. Enterprises went bankrupt? So what if it did? <laughs> my dad is working really hard to get the company back Wait till my father hears about this. Gay Enterprises? Like <gasps> I'm sorry, Daryl. I didn't mean to gloat. Gay okay. Enterprises? I'm just a little touchy about it. What else can I do for you? Anyways. Didn't I hear that you found Jake's body? Yeah, I, I did. The student council president Good gets talk. keys to the school. We had an early morning council meeting and I found him lying there. It was the worst thing I ever experienced in my life. And I really don't want to think about it right now. Too bad. Someone said you were caught soaping up the windows on the teacher's lounge. Yeah, I totally got busted. It was a senior prank. I had to spend two days in detention. Wasn't that the night Jake was murdered? Yeah, I guess it was. Never really thought about that. What hmm. can you tell me about Hal Tanaka? Hal's an exchange student who's all scholarships and study. He's very intense about becoming a doctor. <laughs> this haircut, this haircut is interesting. What I also don't understand, y'all will have to look this up. In the original version, Daryl looked pretty cute. And they made him look like this. And they made him flirt with Nancy all the time, and it's a weird vibe. Sanchez? Big guy, big muscles, big <laughs> dreams. A lot of football scouts have been coming over to watch him play. He must be under a lot of pressure to perform. This might be a dumb question, but what does soaping the windows even do? Wouldn't that just clean them? That is such a good question. That is such a good question. I don't know. I remember for, uh, well, my high school didn't do senior pranks, but our high school in Germany did, like, pretty extensive ones, like the seniors would spend basically all night at the school beforehand. One of the things they did was they took like little like paper cups of water and they just stacked water cups all across the stairs. So basically you couldn't walk up the stairs without getting your feetsies wet. You got the Gordon Ramsay haircut. He is See Gordon Ramsay. He's pretty Hi, little Gordon Ramsay. I thought that was so fun. Hi, Nancy. I think you should know that I got a threatening phone call from someone named Mitch Dillon. Interesting. Mitch is a suspect we're looking into, and he probably caught wind that you're snooping around. 
<laughs> you did that to one of your teachers as a sophomore, just for no real reason? Else, let me know, and we'll take care of him. How is he involved? You don't need to know at this time. Oh. Just concentrate on the students and finding Jake's journal. We have Mitch covered. Oh, I don't trust cops. See you around. Goodbye, Nancy. I don't trust this cop, so... Do, 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 do. Same one as Fred from Scooby-Doo. I doubt it. They couldn't afford him. <laughs> they couldn't afford him. Um. Oh, Connie. Hi, hey, I wanted Nancy. to talk to you. Need something? Why did you break your date with Daryl to the Sadie We gotta get the hot goss. It's a long story. Did Jake make you break the date? You're asking way too many questions, Nancy. What business is it of yours? Didn't Keep grilling her. You were dating Jake? Don't let go. <laughs> hey, a girl can make a mistake. <laughs> true, true. How well do you know Daryl Gray? I wish I knew him better. No. He's the only guy I'd ever consider dating. He's student council president, holds a cool job at a diner called Maxine's, and drives a Seaback X. You can do better, sis. Drives a sports car and works at a diner? Money laundering. That doesn't compute. Drugs, yeah, money I don't laundering. <laughs> Daryl's family was rich and used to throw major parties all the time, but not anymore. Do you know how Tanaka? Not very well. He's an exchange student from Japan and a total worker. We love stereotypes. He told me he's trying to get more scholarships for college. Lately, he's been looking really burnt out. I think the pressure's getting to him. What pressure? What it's pressure? so easy. I guess it's a big deal for his family that he get into a good school on a free ride. Hulk told me money's been tight for you these days. But Hulk told me more? you're poor. Hulk Sanchez doesn't know the first thing about my life. He needs to get a life. We're and stirring the about pot. Mine. See you later. Adios. Adios. All right. Do you think Hal will talk to us? <laughs> I hate how he doesn't say hi. Connie told me you study too hard. Is that true? Connie doesn't know my study habits. I can handle my studies. I'm behind in my studies and I must get back to the library. <laughs> I don't myself. need anyone judging my study library. <laughs> study tactics. Anyways, I need to go study more. And yet you're right here. See you later. Farewell, Nancy. And yet here you are. Interesting. I guess you go around. Oh, I see. That's how that works. Why all the questions? What's going on with you, Nancy? Oh my god, stop yelling Have at me. Have you seen any of those weird messages on the bulletin boards? <sighs> yes, and if I catch the guy who's doing it, he's going to be in big trouble. I bet it's the same person who keeps on setting off the soda machine. Yeah, who would be doing that? I guess that comes with a territory of being a school monitor. Normally, it's not this hectic. When I figure out who's been pulling all these pranks... See you later. She's gonna kill him. She's gonna Adios. push him down the stairs. <laughs> Just like she pushed Jake. <gasps> I do love Bye. our talks, Hal. Goodbye, Nancy. True, should I try and open Jake's locker? Yeah, because I thought someone... I think you're right, Hotchkiss. I think Hal is supposed to tell us something about it. Um, oh, here it is. Let's try um, a classic. Because uh, Jake gave me La Epic Troll vibe, you know? Alright, it's impossible. We can't get in. We tried everything. Nothing works. Alright, let's... let's see. Um. Hello. Do you know the combination to Easy. Jake Rogers' locker? Easy. I'm sorry, Nancy. I can't help you with that. Hulk said your locker's right Please, next to Jake. Please, I'll do anything sure for this teenager's locker combination. Hmm. I remember one day Jake was mad because he couldn't open his locker. He told me he wished I had a phone handy. Will that help? See you later. It will, Hal. Goodbye, Nancy. So, I don't remember how we're supposed to know this. We might have actually been told this through some of the notes. Like, the little bulletin board notes. But his password is the, his name, Jake. But, like, written out on the phone, you know? So, it's... Five... Two... 
five, three. But also, like, he's dead, so why are we keeping this lock on, you know? He's not going to be upset about it. Five, two, five, three. Judo today. Ooh, sick. Nice butt shot. Um, Paseo Del Mar, Florida. Mask Marauder flattens foes. Onlookers and per participants alike were stunned when an unknown last-minute entry swept the competition and won Paseo Del Mar's fifth annual men's judo tournament this month. Wearing a cloth mask to conceal his identity, the winner, who identified himself only as Niniko, impressed the capacity crowd with his quickness and control, defeating opponents well outside his weight class. I wonder if perhaps it's that, um, it's that little redhead who has a, <laughs> who has a judo necklace on. Very subtle, but I don't know. It's kind of a toss up. Could be anybody. Uh, English essays. Uh, excuse me. Al's English essay is the same <gasps> as this essay. Plagiarism. H-bomber guy is going to hear about this. There's going to be a four hour video essay on this, Hal Tanaka. For shame. For shame. I really, it really feels like you should be able to pull this piece of paper, but you can't. Okay. Ooh. Oh, beans. Empty. Okay. Okay. And break in at local pharmacy. Paseo County police responded to a break in at the drug station pharmacy on 80th Street in the early morning hours yesterday. Whoever it was knew exactly what they were looking for, said police chief Toktig. They broke in the building through the back window, took the drugs, and went, were out through minutes. According to the report, several vials of hectanol were taken. We were just lucky that no other damage was done to the store, said owner. Oh, why is there money? Stephen Oitenta? The alarm report came into police headquarters at 2 a.m. on Thursday morning. Police responded and were on the scene within 20 minutes. A broken window was spotted immediately, but the thief had already left the scene. Anyone with information concerning this crime should contact Paseo County Police Department Headquarters. Alright, well, I feel like um, the mysteries... This is the first game, so you can't be too hard. The mysteries aren't super subtle. So, like, obviously the guy with the football injury broke into steal drugs. The... The girl was disguising herself as a man to compete in judo. And Hal Tanaka, the exchange student, was plagiarizing to get a scholarship. And Jake was blackmailing them all. I feel like you can Tell me about the piece that together pretty quickly. Pharmacy. Why would I know about a robbery? All I know about is football. So true, bestie, so true. Do you know why Jake had an empty video He knows how to respond to the cops. I didn't pay much attention to Jake. I'm tired of talking about that loser. Hi, Laffy I'll Taffy. Talk to you later. Bye, Nancy. All right, good talk, good talk. This is so degrassy, degrassy coded. Oh my gosh. I remember the shock and horror when I saw Drake get shot. <laughs> when I saw Drake get shot on that that show. Ugh. What a time. You plagiarized your senior essay on etiquette, and Jake knew about it. Yes, Nancy. I'm very ashamed. My family will be extremely unhappy about this terrible mistake I have made. Somehow, Jake found out I copied that old essay. Then he blackmailed me into doing his homework for him. Why did you copy the essay? I had no other choice. My family won't let me stay in the United States unless I get a scholarship next year. I had to take extra courses to earn the scholarship. Before I realized what I had done, I was buried in work. I copied the essay because I was desperate. What happened when Jake found out? Jake demanded I do all his homework for the rest of the semester, or he would tell my family everything. What else could I do? My family was depending on me to succeed. Were you desperate enough to kill him? Jesus, Nancy. I was Nancy. not happy about the situation, <laughs> but I would never Jesus. kill anyone. I value human life. Please don't tell anyone about this. <laughs> I beg you. You will gain nothing if you do, and it would destroy my, my family. My God. If you knew what really well, Nancy's happened. a snitch, so I, I don't know. What I have done. Please let me have this chance to become a doctor. I promise to make up for this mistake, even if it takes the rest of my life. This poor child. If you didn't kill Jake. Do you have any idea who did? 
When I delivered Jake's homework to him the other day, he mentioned being late for a meeting with Daryl Gray. It was very strange. I didn't know they were friends. Do you know why Jake had an empty video cassette case in his locker? I didn't know Jake was interested in video. I avoided him whenever I could. Yeah, why? I hate that valuing human life is like a red flag phrase, but it is. Insane how these games went from Nancy solving murders to Nancy trying to find her kidnapped friend on a remote island. And then Nancy trying to stop people from like creating COVID-19 and infecting a population for mind control purposes. See you later. Farewell, Nancy. But the games really went off the rails, didn't they? Can't check that off yet. Uh, check. magazines. Oh, okay. Check. That's done. Did that. That's done. Well, let's go to the library then. That's done. Haven't done that. All right, let's go to the library. Check out the magazines. Oh, I have to use the key every time. Okay. The magazines were this way. Didn't realize there were any we could click on. Oop. Oop. Rear. Sports. Pectinol is a steroid and was one of the drugs <gasps> the drug station. No. Say it ain't so. Anything about kanji in here? Drugs, bad. I figured we would find something about kanji in the library, so maybe I just need to look around a little bit more. Um, could also go up the stairs. I don't think we've done that yet. Hmm. What? What was that? What? Why did the alarm just go off? I thought there was a- I thought I just triggered a game over. What? Okay, James? Oh, this is in French. It's made up language. Oh, the kanji thing is on the first floor? Is that what you're trying to hint at, Hotchkiss? <laughs> the music is going crazy! I don't know what to feel. I'm just in a library by myself. Yeah, these all feel like, um, Easter eggs, not necessarily relevant information. Uh, yeah, this is about the crystal skull. Yeah, these are all just Easter egg stuff. HG. Lalu. I bought. Okay. Well, we've cracked the code then. I think that's all we needed to know. So thank you. All right, I'm just going to take a picture of that just in case. Oh, his chemistry book. Things to remember. Me. The answer to my fate lies in the box. A matchbook behind Maxine's schedule holds the first step. I'm also going to take a picture of this. My message holds the 18 remaining steps. The elements tell the order. The letter and digits tell the direction. And then I... You too. Okay, we took a picture of the periodic table, so we're good on that front. Jake was here. Oh my god, I think that's the Vampire Diaries game. I think that's a really compressed JPEG of the Vampire Diaries game that her interactive made. With all the Confederate um, iconography. <laughs> Good times. Um, okay. Anything else over this way? No? Okay, should we look at the encyclopedias? For the kanji stuff? K for kanji? Hmm, Whoa! Did you see that? It popped out for a second. Fun. Okay. 
Boom, did that. Did that. Did that. Can't check that off yet. No? Look around. Haven't done that. That's done. Boom. I feel like we're kind of crushing it, to be honest. I feel like we're kind of eating it up right now. All right, let's see. Um, well, let's go talk to Connie then. I would be so excited if my art was in a Nancy Drew game forever, though. I wasn't talented enough to be in a Nancy Drew game, but I would have loved it. Hey, Nancy, Hello. need something? Your medallion has a symbol that means crane, and crane is the name of the judo school on the poster in the gym. What a coincidence. Hmm. I, mean, I never noticed. Funny. I gotta go now. Later. You're sitting right there. I can what see you. you. Now? Jeez. Okay. The energy? Jesus Christ. Okay. Come on. Be nice. Do you know nice. why Jake had an empty video cassette case in his locker? No. Why are you so interested in Jake anyway? I gotta go now. Later. The vibes are off. <laughs> You know what? Maybe you did kill him because the vibes are off. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> if some 40 year old was pretending to be a high schooler, I don't think I'd be too nice to them either. <laughs> hey, gorgeous. Glad you stopped by. Ah! What's the word on the street? Daryl, I appreciate the compliment, but I'm seeing someone else. Hey, I'm just saying what I'm seeing. So, what's been going on? Well, your uncle isn't here, if that's who Get you're him. looking for. I'm sorry for saying this, but he's kind of a Mr. Cranky I think pants. he did it. How but so? I just can't prove it. <laughs> he's on edge from drinking all of our coffee, and last week he seriously freaked out on me. What happened? I don't know. He lost something in the diner and accused us of stealing it. He went kind of psycho. Hal Tanaka told me Jake said he had a meeting with you once. But I thought you said you hardly knew him. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe he had to talk to me about work. Hmm. Do you know why Jake had an empty video cassette case in his locker? Why were you in Jake's locker? <laughs> I'm working undercover. Um. It was open. Don't blow our cover. Just look through it. Oh. <laughs> oh. I have no idea. <laughs> what else can I do for you? <laughs> the dialogue Bye. in this game is oh, so good. Oh, I forget. Someone left this note for you. It Ooh. was on the counter when I got back from break. That looks totally... Ooh, from Dylan. I'm sure it's not threatening at all. I have the solution to your mystery. Meet me in the basement of the maintenance room at the high school. Bye, Nancy. Perfect. I think that's going to go really well for us. Oh, our boy is gone. Um, We have to look at that thing behind... The schedule, don't we? Or maybe we already looked at it because we checked it off. Spinning. Hmm, looks like something was removed here. Oh, that was the thing in the locker, right? Yeah. See what's up. That's done. Did that. Did that. Can't check that off yet. Oh, it already has me checked off for the basement. All right. Well, let's go to the basement now. Since they have the solution to our mystery. And we'll be done with this game in an hour and a half. All right. Down we go. Ah, toasty. Oh, no one's here. Oh. Uh. Oh god, my camera's freaking out. I think that they're gonna blow up the school. Why is there even a heater at a school in Florida? Uh. That's actually a very valid question. Why are there heaters in the school right now? This feels like an unnecessary danger. Um. Okay. And then we have to get them. To look like ah. ouch too hot ouch ow owie um oh 
That was easy. <laughs> that was actually really fucking easy. So, I don't know what everyone else is complaining about. Um... To be honest, I wasn't even done solving the puzzle, but the puzzle was like, you're done. You actually did it already. Ooh! Oh, there's the matchbook. Okay, so then we've got this. This little boy. This little piggy went to the market. Still have to do that. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I could have gotten the school blown up. Haven't done that. Hang on. Hang on. Secrets. We have to blow up the school. Obviously. <laughs> I can't believe I missed the chance to blow up the school. Silly, silly Billy. I, I was just so good at the game, I forgot, honestly, that there was a second chance here, so I apologize. I'll try and be worse at the game in the future. I think we've got a, a hot minute, dare I say. <laughs> Before the school blows up. But um, we'll just hang out. Have a good old time. So what have y'all been up to? Been doing anything fun? You know... Why is this fire, like, so high-res? <laughs> is this, like, a gif behind back here? It's very convincing. I feel very immersed in this environment right now. Just spinning. Munching and crunching. Oh, you know what? I made some vegan and gluten-free bread. Because I'm supposed to be gluten-free and I haven't started being gluten-free until yesterday. I was supposed to start being gluten-free, like, a month ago. And it tasted pretty good. Um, I wanted to figure out how to make it because buying gluten-free bread from the grocery store is really expensive and it feels like... feels like just... it has to be cheaper if you make it. Um, it tasted fine. But it's... I'm gonna have to work with the recipe a little bit because it didn't really, like, hold together as well. It was just, like, gluten-free flour, um, xanthan gum, salt, sugar, yeast, water. And it used garbanzo bean water, like canned chickpea water. It's called aquafaba. Just sort of like an egg white substitute. Oh, there we go. We blew up. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That, that's what it was missing meme was the gluten. You're so right. Because <laughs> normally gluten-free bread, like most of them have egg in it. And I do eat eggs, so... Oops. Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. Uh, I do eat eggs, so in theory I can make gluten-free bread with eggs, but, like, I'd rather make it vegan. Because I prefer not to eat a lot of them. Uh, hello. <laughs> and Nancy was fine. Nancy did just fine. Why is the button broken, though? Hello? Um, ladle. Uh, <laughs> that's true. I should ask some egg donors. Um, why can't I grab any of these tools? That makes sense. Oh, God. Now we're really trapped for realsies. Um,. Cup. Can I grab this thingy? What the heck? Just stick it back on. It's not it's not that hard. Hello? <laughs> what what am I missing? What what am I missing? Nancy's not a technician. She's not equipped for this kind of thing. 
Um, I solved that puzzle so quickly. There's another exit, okay. I see. Of course. Can I get back there? That looks like ladders. Oh! I see. Oh! We vented! <gasps> bum 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 bum. Ba ba bum. Well, we got a cassette. We put the cassette in the cassette player. <gasps> Some high quality uh, camera footage if, if it's the 90s. Or is it the 90s? We have a VHS player and a cassette, but also we have phones. It doesn't really make sense. <sighs> Are y'all shocked? Jake had the receipts, though. You gotta give it to him. Ah, uh, lovely static. Something to make this work. Not, I need something to make this work. Can't check that off yet. Okay. Shall we? Um. The thing is, I know where the next puzzle is, but I don't know if it'll let me view it yet. Because I don't know how I'm supposed to find out where it is. Oh, I got money. Maybe I should get myself a soda or something. Um gonna go to the library wrong key again my dad and sister are celiac so my mom has figured out some good recipes I can send them along if you're ever interested though I don't know how many are vegan Ooh, homemade pizza dough recipe is good too yeah I mean I want to try out some gluten-free recipes. I feel like it'll keep it more fun and exciting. I know the good news is I eat a lot of rice, so I feel like I can eat a lot of things gluten-free just naturally, you know? And I do like gluten-free pasta. I eat that, like, regardless all the time. Um, My messages, the elements tell the order. Fate lies in the box. Do 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 Yeah, I guess we haven't found the message that tells you where the code is. Hmm. That um that song reminds me of the Splash Mountain. I don't know if y'all have seen the Defunctland video where they talk about the opening of Splash Mountain. And in the 80s, they had a, a commercial to announce like the opening of Splash Mountain and it was like a rap. <laughs> and Dan and I still sing it a lot. When you know what is a thrill when you go downhill and you're going on a something in a daring dash and you go splish splash. And they go, Splash Mountain. <laughs> Zippity doo da. Splash Mountain zippity a <laughs> Yeah. And uh, Dan and I, we always go, Splash Mountain. That was a good video. It's a bop. It's a bop. I love Defunctland videos. They're so good. I know. I really hope uh, the new Splash Mountain is good. I love Splash Mountain. I understand why it's getting changed, um, the racism and all that. I think that's very valid. And I think Tiana will be very exciting. I'm just nervous because I love animatronics and I feel like there were so many animatronics in the old version and I feel like there might not be in the new version and that'll make me sad. I'm not into pushy girls, 
Ew, Do me a ew. favor and bother someone else. Oh, jeez, what is with the energy in this high school? It's almost like someone was murdered yesterday. Jake knew you broke into the drug station. He was blackmailing you, wasn't he? Yeah. He found out I stole the steroids and threatened to turn me over to the cops. Not it the cops. Have the end of my football career if I didn't cooperate. What did he want from you? You name it. Chauffeur, errand boy, bodyguard. He loved ordering me around like I was his slave. Okay. Did you kill him? Did you kill him? I'm not a killer, Nancy. I didn't do it. Everybody the in this high school is Jake in their 40s. And you can't convince me otherwise, Daryl. honestly. It was in a sealed envelope, so I couldn't read it. My bet is Jake was blackmailing Daryl. Mm. I gotta go. See ya. Bye. Maybe we should go talk to Daryl. Um, we can also talk to Connie because now we know for sure that she was the judo champion. Um, oh, I went the wrong way. Oh, it's you, Nancy. I'm really <laughs> embarrassed to see you again. I love when Bye. conversations Farewell, start like that. He was blackmailing everyone. That's why everyone hated him, I guess. And I mean, that's valid. Hey, Nancy, need something? I know you're the unknown winner of that judo competition. Jake Rogers had it all. I know these people are like uh, yes, TikTok cosplayers. I'm the mysterious winner of the men's tournament. It wasn't easy for me. <laughs> I didn't I'm kill him. What I did. Not me. <laughs> did you kill Jake to stop him from blackmailing you? Are you crazy? Yeah, of not to victim not. blame Jake, but you know, Jake. oof. Jake was threatening to expose you, maybe even make you lose your black belt, and he forced you to break your deal. Not with Daryl. Life would have been so easy with him out of Nancy's the way. Nancy's throwing out these accusations like I crazy. Didn't kill Jake. All right, talk to you later. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Good lord, Nancy. Good lord. Yeah, Daryl's the only one who likes us, and to be honest, I don't know why. And he's a pervert, so I'm not really flattered. So, how'd your date go with the mysterious note-leaving guy? Let's just say he almost took my breath her, away. Her, 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 her. Good, so I'm still in the running for you. Ew. Daryl, I'm not interested. I didn't even catch okay, that at okay. first. I get the picture. Hulk Sanchez said he saw you delivering an envelope to Jake. Okay, so I gave him an envelope. Big deal. It was about a school project I'm working on. Hey, what is it with all these questions? I'm really starting to wonder. <laughs> are you a cop, you Fancy exactly Drew? Nancy Drew? I'm out of here. If Maxine drops by, make up a good excuse about why I had to leave. See you around, Nancy. <laughs> okay, take it back. Everyone hates us. Just because we didn't. Um, Nancy, you look terrible. Take his advances. You? Are you okay? It was nothing. Let's just say I ran into an old flame. Well, suit yourself. How are things otherwise? I found the videotape Jake made. It shows some students that Jake was blackmailing. Was one of the students Daryl Gray? No. That's surprising. My intuition says that Blondie, Blondie Burger, Burger Boy. Uh, good lead, but we really need to find that journal of Jake's. I think a student may have killed Jake because he was blackmailing him or her. You're oh my gosh. Great leads, but think non-binary exclusionary Nancy. We need to find hard evidence like Jake's journal. Daryl mentioned that you had lost something last week? Yes. I lost my wallet. A lot of my undercover contact information is in the wallet, including yours. You can imagine what hmm. would happen if that information fell into the wrong hands. He lost his Eras tour tickets. He was losing it. Did you ever find it? It was in my hotel room all along. I think I was drinking too much coffee. <laughs> starting to affect oh, my mind. Been there, buddy. Been there. <laughs> I found a notepad in the library that seems like a message from Jake. Really? Tell me more. It says things to remember me and seems to give clues about the answer to my fate lies in a box. This is the best lead we've had. I think it could break the case. Follow whatever directions he gave to find this box. His journal could be in there. Excellent work, Nancy Drew. But remember, you need to All keep right, a well you're not really a lot of help, are you? Bye-bye. Goodbye, Nancy. Bye. 
Okay. Um, go back to the high school. Let's go back in his locker. Wherever that is. Um, where's his locker? There it is. Oh, I have to enter it again. Five. Two, five. I want to see if there's something I m missed, maybe? No, we saw that. Oh, well, I closed it again. <laughs> um, have I looked at all of the bulletin boards? I have that written down. Will help my plight the first letters up, down, left, right. Okay. Hmm. Oh no. There's... We have to know to look under a certain seat in the library, but I don't remember how we figured that out. We, we did this one. That one wasn't helpful. Um... Just looking around. I'm trying to see. This one we still I don't think I figured it out. S is it like railroad code? Sin No. Sin. Nurse over de 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 de. I don't know what that one is. I don't know what that one's about. Um... This one we did. I don't fully remember what this one was, but... I can look at... I had it on my phone. Um... Nowhere to turn, nowhere to hide. Let the books in the library be your guide. Um, that someone must hide. A a symbol of kanji. Oh, that's the one about uh, Connie. Um, to keep up his... Gr oh yeah, that's just about... We already know that stuff. We already know that stuff. Um... Useless. Useless to me. Let's see if there's any more... Maybe we didn't see here. In here? Say no to drugs. Seniors. Um... Yeah, the hidden videotape. We saw that one, for sure. I remember that one. Um, no, that's the same one. Try in the lounge, maybe. Did we do this one? They all look the same, so I lose track. Yeah, that's about Connie doing the thing again. We already know that. Clicked on that again. The Campfire Diaries! <gasps> The Vampire Diaries Easter Egg. I love that. There's so many references I feel like I didn't appreciate when I saw other people play this game. Um, um, anything here? LA... Yeah, I have that one written down. Um, is there any up here? I don't have to go back in the teacher's lounge, do I? I don't think so. Hmm. Dare I just look it up? I think we've looked at all the bulletin boards, and I literally have nothing else left on my task list. Maybe we should go to the library. Um, I do 
do like the manatee wearing boxing gloves. That is a fun, fun little touch. Yeah, I might just look it up. Because I feel like I have... How many do I even have written down? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, I don't have all of them. I have 12 out of 18. <laughs> but I, regardless, I'm confident enough. I think I can do it. Um, here, I'm going to... Well, first of all... No, I'm not going to load. I'm going to save. Ooh, I don't think I'd look at this before. Maps. Well, that's a new one. Um, N A L three. The music just changed again. What is this? I mean, this looks like some sort of code too, but. I don't know. Maybe you should have been a little more straightforward. Donation point. I... Hmm... If anything happens to me, see... If anything happens to me, CR. Uh, if anything happens to... Wait. If anything happens to me... See... Riffin... Uh, see if anything... Wait, uh, I started reading it again. Chund... Go to Sears. <laughs> Chund... Under my... Comb under my combinate com combin combinate <laughs> ca under my com under my combination. <laughs> this is hard to read. Cat. Yeah. <laughs> catalog. Perfect. Nailed it. I think it said something about his locker combination, which I vaguely remember. No, it's okay, Hotchkiss. I think I do vaguely remember from other Let's Plays. I think that was telling us that we need to put his locker combination into the search thing. Evidence under my seat. There we go. Okay, that was what I was missing before. We found it. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. That is, um, very esoteric, though, isn't it? We did it. Okay, so this is first. I think we have been getting hints to this puzzle, but you know, no one as a kid did it the right way. We're going to be here for a while, strap in, folks. <laughs> How many combinations are there? Ten. Okay, I thought I did them all. The heck. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna write this down and then Ooh, okay. I feel like I need non-lined paper to write this down on. It's a little um hard to see. Where are you supposed to find the clue? I think it has something to do with the codes we've been getting this whole time. And the periodic table of the elements up above us, but... Fuck if I know. <laughs> but fuck if I know, you know? Hmm. 
All right, let me try and be a little more strategic about how I eliminate things. I think this is a much more fun way to do it, even if it's not the actual way to do it. <laughs> Will it be excruciating? I think it'll be a really fun time. So anyways, um... I had a doctor's appointment earlier today. I had a doctor's appointment earlier, and, um... The doctor was like, oh, your tattoos are interesting. And I was like, thanks? Didn't really sound like a compliment, but I guess it, maybe it was. And he's like, is there any meaning behind them? And I mean, I guess there's vaguely a meaning, but not like any deep meaning behind any of my tattoos. And so I was just like, no. And he was like, okay, well, then let's just start the appointment then. And I was like, oh, sorry. Bad as this conversation thing. And then we had to do a, a nerve test where he basically like stuck a bunch of electrodes to me and shocked me a bunch of times. It was, I was expecting it to hurt. It didn't hurt, but it was kind of uncomfortable. It kind of felt like a rubber band hitting you or like, you know, getting shocked a bunch of times, but it was all normal. So yeah, that's the thing about like tattoos having a deep meaning. I, um, I guess there aren't a ton of things where I feel sentimental enough to get it tattooed on my body. And I think, um, I don't know, I feel like I like the, the tattoos that just sort of, you know, I think are cute and fun. And even though it doesn't initially have meaning, it like ends up representing an era of my life, you know? Like I vaguely have my goose tattoo because of my dog goose, but I also just think it's a cute tattoo. Because also the one tattoo that fa that did sort of have meaning was my first tattoo. And that tattoo was the Triforce and um, the Deathly Hollows symbol. And then JK Rowling went and uh, ruined that. So I was like, fuck it. <laughs> fuck it, we're going rogue. I'm not getting a tattoo that means anything ever again. Because people will betray me. And let that be a lesson to you all. Luckily, most of my tattoos are just my pets, so they're self-explanatory. See, there we go. That's the strat. That's the strat. <laughs> this is per perchance going to take a while, would you say? Maybe. I don't know. I feel like it's fine. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I feel like we're we're good. I feel like... Am I repeating myself and driving any of you crazy? I'm getting it though. Oh god. Wait. I keep fucking it up. Ah. I agree with the cute ones. I can't imagine ever regretting any of them because they represent that time in my life and I love them. Yeah, I like... I also just like, um... I guess the style of my tattoos. Like, the sleeve. I'm not really aiming for a sleeve in particular. I never really had a plan. Um, but I also just like having patchwork style tattoos. Um, cause I feel like it kind of makes my arm feel like a big sticker book and it's like different artists, you know, did their own thing. And most of them are just like flash from different artists. And I think it's fun. It kind of makes it feel like a, a yearbook. It is a sick bead, I would say. All right, should I look it up? <laughs> I'll at least look up the next one. Secrets can kill remastered buttons.
Um, Jake Fox. Trying to see if there's any images. All right. Wait. Oh, no. This is right. One, two, three, four, five, six. One of my friends tries to get a new tattoo in every new place she travels. That's really cool. That sounds like a lot. That sounds high stress, to be honest. I don't feel like I'd be able to find enough cool tattoo artists in every single place I went to. Well, maybe, actually. Because the thing is, a lot of the tattoo artists I get recommended on Instagram, I'll be like, ooh, they look cool. And then they'll be in the UK or somewhere. And I'm like, well, then why were they recommended to me? Can't engage with their work. They're so far away. There are a lot of cool artists in Portugal, of all places, that I really like. Like, um... The artist who did my goose tattoo and uh, my Snoopy tattoo, she's from Baltimore originally, but she lives in Portugal now. So, um, and every once in a while she'll come back to Baltimore and do work, but she shares a, a space with another really cool artist who I would love to get tattoos from. I'd also just love to go to Portugal someday. So maybe, maybe I'll get there. 16, 17, 17. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. It's kind of hard to make out the numbers on this thing. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. I feel like the music in this game is like 30 seconds long and they just... <laughs> there's not really a seamless transition between them. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. So where is 18? 18 is this one. And then 19. Boom. Yeah. They went deep for this one. All right. Yeah. Something with this. <laughs> I think those were all symbols for the various elements. I did that all by myself, actually. I did. You know what's crazy? I did that all by myself without any help. Pretty impressive, right? Yeah, I get how the puzzle works. Just who has the time, you know? Yeah, first try. First try, blind playthrough, um, speed run. If I can <laughs> find my way out of this high school, that'll be great. Thank you. Oh, spinning, spinning. Oh my gosh. Nine o'clock, look at us. This is like the end of the game. I mean, spoilers, but this is like the end of the game. Maybe I should have... <laughs> maybe I should have tried to brute force my way through that whole puzzle. This is the story of a student council president gone terribly bad. Ooh, he was a YouTuber. Kind of he really had it coming then. From daddy's top secret military industrial aerospace factory. Not this. But what does Daryl do with this stuff? He's too stupid to really know what it all means. The Russians. But he's not too stupid to know how much these industrial secrets are worth. You see, Daryl's selling out to our local air conditioning guy, Mitch Dillon. Not sure what a guy specializing in HVAC does with satellite schematics, telemetry encodings, and signature intelligence, but I'm sure whatever it is, it's not exactly legal. But it's probably worth a lot of money to Mitch to keep it quiet. Breaking news, check it out. I found out who Also, Mitch this guy is, is not a Darryl high schooler. <laughs> This, this is also dude, a 40 year old man voicing this. This dorkoid is the ringleader of some kind of <gasps> for military secrets. 
And Mr. Not Porter our uncle. This, journal full of important notes like contact numbers, system this is James Snowden. Funding, not James. Edward pay, Snowden. Et cetera, et cetera. And Got my stuff, white guy names confused. I can tell that this guy will pay top dollar to get it back. You know Edward Snowden went case, to my high school? To me, I'm the journal in a safe Fun place. fact for you. I taped it underneath one of the book carts at the school, but I doubt he'll give me much trouble. Just a ton of cash. So if you find this video, come look me up. I'll probably be long gone from Paseo del Mar. Yeah. Oh no, not the racist resort. <laughs> he was gonna go to the racist resort. Aunt Eloise? Is that you? Aunt Eloise? Hello? Oh, okay. I'm sure. Oop. Hello. I need something to make this Turn that work. off. All right, here we go. <gasps> Beach. Oh God, he's I so scary. I just thought I'd come by. God, what are you doing? You seem kind of in a hurry. Ugh. Did you find the journal? Yes, I found your journal. My what? Uh, Jake's journal. I found Jake's journal. Oh, God, Nancy, be a better detective. No, you said my journal. You said that you found my journal. <laughs> Why don't we step into the living room and have a little <laughs> chat about where my journal is, hmm? Oh, and why don't you give me your cell phone? I'd hate to be interrupted during our little tete-a-tete. -tete. So, this Detective B... I still can't believe they put a gun in a Nancy Drew game. ...to find your journal. You killed Jake, didn't you? <sighs> yes, I did con you into this... I can see through it. And you just ate it up. I mean, I could see it through it lingo, just now. The self-important attitude. You're a real Snoopy Susie, aren't you? But as far as murder, it's a good goes, drag name. No, that was my former partner, Mitch Dillon. But stop with this delaying tactic, Detective Nancy. Where's my journal? It's in the entrance behind the tapestry. What's the combination? Um. Oh, wait, I wanted to do. I wanted to die first. But stop with this delaying tactic, Detective Nancy. Uh, sorry, Where's I was getting um, too immersed. It's in the entrance behind the rose paintings. <laughs> God, this little pervert. How is Daryl involved? He was selling off his father's trade secrets to me via Mitch. Yeah, we know that, Nancy. He had no idea how valuable his information was. We just watched a video explaining that to us. It's not in here. I'm going to give you another chance. Tell me where my journal is. It's in the entrance, behind God, the mirror. don't look at me like that. <laughs> Pervert. Who are you exactly if you're not a detective? Just a He's not an, even a detective? Is he even my uncle? Deals in top secret information that certain governments and... Other parties Our whole friendship is a lie. Oh. No journal, Nancy. I've been a very patient man, and I need my journal. Tell me where it is. It's in the sofa under the rose paintings. I think he might be a spy. Is he my mom? Why me? Why did you choose me to go undercover? You fit the bill. You're a teenager. You're new in town. That's true. Why would he kill me? We have the power in this situation. I overheard your aunt talking about you at the diner and came up with the whole undercover idea. It's not in here. Is he going to shoot You've me? You've tried my patience long enough. You leave me no choice <laughs> to find the journal on my own. No. Ah! <laughs> I like how he had a gun, but he hits me over the head with it. So, you know, using the gun, not in a gun way. That's fun. Yes. I'll Let's try again. Stop with this delaying tactic, Detective Nancy. Where's my journal? Where's my journal? You drink my Mountain Dew. <laughs> it's in the entrance. You drink my Mountain Dew. Let me smell your breath. What's the combination? Um. Delta, 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 Delta. That's not it, Nancy. Phi Sigma Sigma. Delta 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 Delta. I literally just said that. He's so stupid. You're trying my patience, Detective Drew. What's the combination? <laughs> Delta 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 Delta. Oh, that's true. There is one if we give him the right code. <laughs> but stop I keep, with this I'm sorry. I keep. Detective Nancy. I'm, I'm too good. 
I keep accidentally beating the game and it's like, hold on, slow down. <laughs> it's Let's live in the moment a little bit. The tapestry. <laughs> Maybe it'll be Delta, Delta, Delta this time. Is it, uh... Sigma Phi Kappa Delta. There we go. He got it. It's not in here, and I'm tired of these tricks you're playing. Where's my journal? You've tried my patience. Oh, he just pistol whips us again. You leave me no choice but to find the journal on my own. No. Ah! Ah! All right, that wasn't that different, but still, we had fun. But stop with this delaying tactic, Detective Nancy. Where's my? Journal? <laughs> All right, no more delaying it's for realsies. Behind the tapestry. What's the combination? See, I thought we had to give him different combinations every time so he wouldn't Delta, be suspicious, Delta, but Delta, Delta. we can just say this over and over. That's not it, Nancy. Delta, 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 Delta. If it was in the 90s, You're he would have just been. Papers, <laughs> Detective Drew. What's the combination? Delta, 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 Delta. <laughs> hey! What the? Get me out of here, Nancy Drew! I'm sure the police will be happy to transfer you. <laughs> Why is it in a cage? So long God, cage. And he's so gross. He still has a gun. Dear Dad, he can still shoot me. Mitch Dillon and his boss, formerly known as Detective Beach, are on their way to prison. The police still don't know his real identity, but his trade in top secret information has who been cares stopped. who he is? It's just a mystery. Burglar proof safe. <laughs> Daryl has confessed to selling information about his father's military project. I mean, you can tell, Despite right, that this was the first game or the remake Daryl's of the first game. Father has forgiven him. The story has some gaps. Trophy, but the judo club refused to take it and is opening their competitions to women next year. Spondered. It said spondered instead of sponsored. Did y'all catch that? There was a typo in the end of the game. The beach where the only cover I'm going to go under is a beach blanket. See you soon. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Nancy. Nancy's living her Florida life. What is the name of the library? Um. Wow, I didn't get any of that. Ned Defender for rebuffing each amorous attempt by Daryl Gross. <laughs> Confidential. Okay. We didn't play any Barnacle ba Blast, or even touch the jukebox, or buy any sodas. Oh, here we go! We played this one! Y'all remember this? Y'all remember this? We had fun. I've they made me play, um... From the exotic food oh, what was that puzzle I was really bad at? To the nature and tradition Nonograms? Of towns, I know there's gonna be a ton to see and do. As a thank you for all of my hard detective work, P.G. Krollmeister has reserved a room for me at one of the area's best real cons. Oh, so that's why we're staying at, a at an inn nice while our friends are staying at a hostel <laughs> across and town. A few weeks without danger and dark secrets hiding no danger. Every corner. I've already heard that the real can I'm staying in has quite a reputation. I'm not sure exactly for what, though. Well, I'll find that out soon enough. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, we got a soup ladle. We didn't use it for anything. I think there was something Join we could have done with the soup ladle. Adventure. Shadow at the water. They saw edge. the ring once. The developers. They saw the ring one time. Oh, here's the rap. Wait, I want to turn it up so y'all can hear it. Or maybe I should do it with subtitles somewhere. I might see if I can find a subtitled version because I think it is worth watching. Oh, here's a lyric video. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Pull that up. Enhance. Y'all let me know if you can't hear it. Okay. Like a bullet from a gun. She arrived on the scene. A young detective who doesn't know the, the meaning, meaning of. of. When she's hot on the case. 
No time to waste when you're face to face With the evil that is looking but you just can't see it Persist, persevere, and the problem will disappear You say you in a jam and you don't know what to do Get down with the Drew Crew Hell yeah! We love the child murder game. To the end, to the sea. What? Battle with their fists, but with their mind. <laughs> Oops. Cut that from the original game. Thank you, Yellowberry123, um, for the captions. I appreciate that. <laughs> Honestly, I, I want to listen to it one more time. That was just playing in the background every once in a while. Like a oh, I'm out of water, but thank you, meme. I'll pretend to. Who doesn't know the meaning of when she's hot on the case. Cut on the waist when you're face to face. With the evil that is looking, but you just can't see it. Persist, persevere, and the problem will disappear. You say you in a jam and you don't know what to do. Get down, down with, with the, the Drew crew. crew. The fact that it's not Clue Crew bothers me a lot. It should be Clue Crew, not Drew Crew. Get in a week, get over the horizon. Who could it be? A to the N C Y. It's ironic that they say doesn't battle with her fists, but she does pull a gun in the original version of this game. So in the original version, um, I don't think we'll be playing it anytime soon. I don't even know if I could get it to play on my computer. But just so y'all know, in the original version, we don't have that detective to talk to. We're just in the high school talking to the high schoolers. And then at the end of the game... They're like, oh, yeah, it was this, like, Dylan guy. And so we, like, go and, like, beat him up at the pharmacy with all of the high schoolers. Like, we all beat him up together. And then Nancy takes the gun and pulls the gun. She's like, you're under arrest. <laughs> I think that's how it goes. Something like that. I wonder if I can see. Maybe that's on YouTube, too. Um, oh, here we go. Here's one. That's Daryl, by the way. That's the back. That's us with the gun. That's us with the gun. <laughs> Nancy has a gun! <laughs> oh! Go off, girl boss! Oh my god, Daryl's been shot! Oh my god, we pulled the- yeah, pull the gun! <laughs> Thank you, Vandicam, for that. Thank you. But look at the art style! I kind of love it. It's very, a uh, magic school bus, you know? Yeah, look how handsome Daryl was. They did him dirty. Look at him. Why'd they do him like that? I feel like we would have had a very different uh, Nancy Drew franchise if they'd kept this art style. Oh, they're just driving off, huh? Detective Beach! Oh my gosh. I see his name was an Easter egg. That makes sense. Oh, and then do they play the rap? Oh, yes, they do. <laughs> Maybe this should be my stream outro music now. Oh, is the rap not playing? It's just like the karaoke version. Like a bullet from the gun, she arrives on the scene. <laughs> yeah, it's a vibe. These This art style is a vibe. I think so. But we did it. We beat that so fast. Like so fast i'm impressed with us so next week whether my friend joins joins us or not i will abandon her if need be 
we're going to play Alibi and Ashes, which is the one where Nancy gets thrown in jail. So that's a fun time. Yeah, it'll be good. Um, and also on Tuesday, we're going to be finishing up this bed we made. She did not abandon me, I promise. She, she explicitly told me her availability, and I'm like, what if I manifest your availability being earlier by telling my Twitch chat about it before? <laughs> I don't know if I finished my thought, but next Tuesday, we're going to be finishing this bed we made. So, and I think we are going to pick up Stardew again. Uh, I think I am going to continue playing it on Wednesdays, just for reference. The VOD is taking forever to upload on YouTube, but I'll look into that. Because it was supposed to be up, like, several hours prior, but... Oh, it's up now. There we go. Yeah, Stardew is back, also. <laughs> so anyways, that's all I got for today. Had a great time hanging out with y'all, as always. Uh... See y'all- Oh! I have a main channel video that's gonna be up on Tuesday, too. Oh, you put it on for your dogs. How cute. I have a main channel video that'll be up on Tuesday, so next time you see me, I'll be slightly more relaxed because I'll have a, a video done. So that'll also be very exciting. All right, so have a good weekend, everybody. Have a good rest of your day. I'll see y'all next week, okay? Bye.